Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ and I'm back. All right, so right now, um, I'm taking Junior for a walk. Wow, the sun is down. Um, it's like around 6 p.m. Oh my God, they got dogs jumping at the window and stuff. It's pretty crazy. But we got Junior with me, so I'll show you guys Junior and Mitch when I came on here and I'll be out for a minute as far as how the training is going, how um, how Junior is doing walking. Besides, always looking up at me for corrections, looking up at me to um, to see if he's doing the right thing. Everything is fine. Um, initially, when I grab a leash, he runs and hide. Okay, so we got to get him past that. Roxy, Zeus, Katana, see the leash. And they look at it as an opportunity to explore. You know what I'm saying? They, they look at it. They look at it as an opportunity to spend time with me, one on one. So they all go crazy. They all bark and they all yeah, because yeah. they see the leash. They like, okay, it's time to go hang out with dad. You know what I'm saying? So, but Junior look at it as torture. Okay, so he runs. He puts himself in a corner, um, and I have to drag him down the driveway his tail be tucked and I we have to drag him then after we get past the driveway of me dragging him literally dragging him he starts to walk and starting out is always him steady crossing me always crossing me not want to pick a side um he's always staring at me trying to figure out is he is he doing the right thing so I just think what, what this is it's one of those just a time thing and having patience I don't yell at them. I don't whoop them. I do not whoop my dogs. Whooping your dog will make your dogs fear you. And um, you don't want your dogs afraid of you all the time. You know what I'm saying? They understand when the temperature is rising. They feel when you're angry. So um, I don't need to be angry just because they're confused on what to do. You know what I'm saying? So please make sure you're not beating your dogs and stuff like that because they don't know what to do. Listen, if they could speak human, you be like, hey, let's just go for a walk. They be like, yes, sir, yeah, come on. Or, da -da. cool, let's do that. But they speak dog, they don't understand that. So initially, we're just trying to get him past that stage of um, just being confused at what's going on when I grab the leash. And I just think the more I do it, the better he gets, you know? So I wish you guys see Junior and um, see, see what's actually going on. But right now, he's just walking beside me um, going for like maybe like a mile, two two mile walk. It's a mile where I'm at right now at the lake. I don't think it's a mile. It's probably like half a mile here and then half a mile back, and then I go around the circle. Um, so it's good exercise for him. Good bonding time for me and him. And uh, I'm gonna do this with uh, who am I gonna bring out today? I think I'm just gonna do Junior and um, Junior and Katana today. I might try to do uh, Katana and Zeus at the same time, but if I do both of them together, it won't be no video. So, cause you know, I gotta have both hands on the leash and if they cross, I gotta make sure that I grab, you know, do the little cross and stuff that I have to do. And um, I won't be able to record that, but, so I might just try that because both of those are good walking dogs. I'm not even gonna say good walking dogs, they're just experienced walking dogs. So we just gotta get Junior to the point where he's experienced. That way I'll be able to walk him and um, maybe another one at the same time. That way I can do two dogs at a time and it'll just be a lot easier on me and them. They'll be able to get more, more of them will be able to be able to exercise um, this way and get a good bonding time this way um, on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I'll let y'all see Junior. Junior, I don't know if y'all can really see him. Cause I got a camera like facing towards me so I can see myself. So um, let's see what we can do. Come on, Junior. So he's getting in front of me, Junior. 
that's, a, that's my only problem with Jimmy right now. Like he walks directly on my feet. That just come with time, y'all. I love the fact that Junior, I don't know if I'm looking at the ground. I love the fact that Junior respects me enough to, to continue to look at me for uh, for curation. Cause he could just be out here, you know, pulling and, and doing the most and stuff like that, but he's not doing that. He's getting his feet stepped on by me, which is uh, something I feel like has to happen in order for him to realize that he has to have some sort of distance as far as walking in front of me or walking over me. So I do step on his feet. I do step on him sometimes. But if I don't, if I just go over him, he'll probably continue to do that. So feel some sort of discomfort. Um, some, you know, every now and then just, just a correction. I don't, I don't really step on his feet as far as putting on my body weight, but you know, those who know, those who have dogs, understand what I'm saying. There's another dog right there. He don't pay no attention to it. His focus is on me, which is good. It's super good. He don't really care about other dogs. Come on, Drew. Good boy. What you doing, boy? Come on. Let's go. Okay. That's just what's going on. Sorry if the video footage isn't... Sorry, y'all. I'm having... Hard time with the leash right now. Sorry, the video, fo the video footage isn't the best, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Sorry, I'm trying my best, man. Let me just, uh, let me do it this way. All right, so now I can see what's going on. See how his tail is tucked a little bit? Come on, dude. It's not pulling. It's not doing it that, which is what I want. I like him being beside me. I mean, he's following me, following my footsteps. Also, it means that he's very respectful. I'm not jerking none on. I'm not using no choke collar, I'm not using any of that type of stuff. Um, I could have put a harness on them, but a harness is made for a dog that's pulling. He's not doing no pulling, he's just stepping in front of me like this. You know? I'm not yanking them back. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not putting no type of wear and tear on his neck. Just going for a walk. So nice to go for a walk, like, after 6 p.m. I don't have to worry about the dogs overheating or anything like that because, if y'all don't know, it's still kind of, still kind of hot in Texas. It's like probably 89 today.
we need a good bath and um i need to put some some type of ornament on uh on that spot that he has i'll do that tomorrow tomorrow i bathe all the pups um i, don't, I may record that i may not it depends if i have somebody to record or i figure out a way to set the phone up but this is what's going on right now, fellas and ladies. This is what's going on. Just walking my boy, Junior. I'm so excited to see Junior mature. Like, I'm so excited to see his head spread. You know? Like, when you look at mom, look at dad. I don't really look at like how he is right now because this stage is not gonna last that long. This little ranking stage you're going through right now. It's not gonna last too long, y'all. Eventually you'll see the, the spread on his face and his body, his his rear, his chest, all that stuff gonna come in. I'm not forcing it, I'm not overfeeding him, I'm not trying to get him to look fast for the camera, I'm not trying to get him to look fast for Instagram. Or anything like that, I just, I'm doing it the natural way, man. The genetics will kick in. The genetics will kick in. All you guys that get on Instagram and get on YouTube and stuff like that and looking at fat puppies and you're like, oh my God, it's so nice. He's so thick, he's so right. Cannot judge a puppy by what they look like, okay? Don't let these people overfeed their dogs and how you thinking, that they're gonna look so nice because they look nice as puppies. That's not how it works. You must study genetics, okay? Um, genetically, this dog has some huge bone blood. Genetically, this dog has some athletic, fast, high, high dry blood, okay? Um, as far as what it look like right now, I, have, I do not care. As long as he's fed, as long as he has the, the proper amount of supplements, as long as he's healthy, as long as he's breathing good, his hips is not bad. I don't care that he's going through the state that he's going through because I know, I know, I know um, how he's going to turn out. Because I studied the genetics, the pedigree is amazing on mom and dad's side. Actually, it's, the bones are thicker on mom's side, but the bodies and and stuff like that are a lot larger on on the dad side so yeah he uh still gonna be over 100 pounds probably like 120 130 pounds minimum um and he's gonna be very healthy he's gonna be a healthy 120 plus pound dog and that's perfect for me i'm not looking to to have 150 160 170 pound dogs because i breed true excel bullies um, I don't breed master mixes, okay? I don't breed bulldog mixes. I, I just don't get into that whole master type look, okay? If you're looking for a master, then I'm sure there's breeders out there that have master in the blood. I'm sure there's breeders out there that have master close in the blood. I'm sure there's breeders out there that just have master. So if you're looking for two XL bullies, 130, 130 pounds, 95 females, to 130 pound males, then I have exactly what you're looking for. Um, but if you look for anything else than that, then I, I do not have that. And I'm not gonna portray that I have that. That's why I say in all my videos, this is what I have and this is what it is. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm done walking Junior for now. I will um, I will be walking another dog. So make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can catch me um, walking the other dog. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna attempt to walk Katana and Zeus at the same time. I don't think it's gonna be a difficult, but it may be hard to record. But if they're walking good, if they're walking good, then I'll record them. <laughs>